Anyone who has even a passing interest in esports has probably heard of Lee Faker Sanghyuk. He's a once in a lifetime talent. Whoa, whoa, ambition! What, Faker? A three time world champion, the face of League of Legends, and unanimously considered to be the greatest to ever play the game. But that wasn't always the case. In 2013, he was still making a name for himself. A gifted yet unproven player pulled from the ranks of solo queue to lead SK Telecom T1K into a new era. These are some of the most impressive LeBlanc plays I have ever Chuck seen. Oh, there, Blob. Oh, he gets the snare on Impact. They're not done yet. Impact has the dash away. Baker with the chase. He's gonna go in and assassinate Elise. However, with OGN broadcasts held behind a paywall and LOL Esports still growing, many European and North American fans who had heard the rumblings from Korea hadn't yet witnessed Faker in action firsthand. But that all changed on September 7th, 2013, when Faker pulled off a play that would stun his opponent and the world alike. This is the Faker vs. Ryu outplay. It's the grand finals of the 2013 Hot 6 Champion Summer, and SK Telecom T1K are taking on the KT Rolster Bullets. SKT T1K had breezed through their group and the first two rounds of the playoffs, only dropping a single game. But here, they found themselves under serious pressure. The KT Rolster Bullets had seized a 2-0 lead in the series, before SKT T1K got on the board with two consecutive wins of their own to force a deciding game. To game five. This was it. One last blind pick match to crown the champion. Faker locked in Zed. Ryu did the same. It was game on. KT took an early lead. The pain train is coming through the river. There's the fear on the impact. He goes down as well. But around the 20 minute mark, the tide began to turn in SKT T1K's favor. Chasing off in the back line. Bengi is backed up. A double kill already for Piglet. Manu trying to escape. Insect, he needs something. He won't get it. Within touching distance of his first LCK title, Faker overstepped and Ryu threw down the gauntlet. And like, even though I only have a mat on the floor, I think he's in the bed. Oh, Faker may be in trouble here. Death Mark tries to clean it up for Ryu. Oh, look at the cleanse. Look at the moves. Faker, what was that? Faker with a huge what? play, the QSS. I can't the believe I just saw he that. actually won that duel. In one of the most brilliant displays of decision making and mechanical skill ever, Faker, despite starting at a significant disadvantage, completely outplayed Ryu to win the gutsy duel. The look on Ryu's face and the absolute shock of Doha and Monte Cristo told the entire story. He actually won that duel. I can't as believe SK that happened. Telecom I'm just my charges. Mind. Before we get into the play, it's important to note that despite his team being massively ahead, Faker's not actually that far ahead of Ryu at all. But the one key item difference is the Quicksilver Sash, which at the time could cleanse off the Zed ultimate and its damage. The play starts with Faker taking tower shots and Ryu's E, auto attacks, and Blade of the Ruin King active under tower, putting the SKT mid laner under half health after Ryu's passive hits him. Faker then uses his own Blade of the Rune King active to steal move speed and try to run away. At this point, Ryu ignites him, hoping to clean up the kill before Faker gets away. Faker responds with his ultimate, making him invulnerable and allowing him to avoid damage from Ryu and his ignite. Ryu responds with his own death mark to avoid trading kills. He then misjudges Faker's movement, throwing a shadow upwards instead of down, while Faker avoids it by jumping to his shadow downward. Here, the item difference saves Faker's life. He Quicksilver sashes the Death Mark and the Ignite, freeing him from all damage. He then sneaks in a Q, Ignite, and Auto Attack against Ryu before dodging Ryu's Q and cancelling Ryu's Auto Attack with a flash to the left. The slimmest of margins determines the end of this fight, as Ryu attempts to flash to Faker to secure the kill with an Auto Attack. Ryu gets his auto cancelled once more, this time by Faker's W, which he didn't use this entire time. Faker then uses E to finish Ryu off. SK Telecom coming back after being two down! There goes the Nexus! When the clip hit the web, it exploded. The Global League community marveled at Faker's incredible exhibition, and the young Korean star quickly became a household name. You have to understand that for most Western fans in 2013, seeing the play for the first time was a revelation. Sure, the outplay didn't alter the course of the game. SKT T1K was already poised to win, but it did change the course of League history. 
Everyone who watched that outplay knew that they were witnessing greatness and that Faker would be a player to keep an eye on for years to come. And the unkillable Demon King has not disappointed. Faker and laid down orbs. There's the ult on the Nogne now. Oh, and a nice Faker nice with stun. the plays on the Nogne. Facing Faker already with the disc of the sun where the turret used to be. Nice Emperor's Divide gets Kuzan and Pilot. Now it's the knockup, so Faker gets very low, but SKT all over this team fight. Yeah, dredge line coming through. Big, 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 big shockwave comes through. Faker Holy. just absolutely devastates the ranks of KT Roaster. Now, six domestic titles and three world championships later, it seems obvious that Faker was destined to become the greatest player of all time. But it all started with an amazing outplay that put Ryu and the rest of the world Even on notice. I only have a bat on the floor. I think he's at the bed. Oh, Faker may be in trouble here. Death Mark tries to clean it up. For Ryu. Oh, look at the cleanse, look at the moves! Faker, what was that? Faker with a huge what? play, the QSS. I can't the believe I just saw he that. actually won that duel. I can't believe that Telecom. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.